hi welcome now i am going to show you how to reconcile two list okay one is the outstanding list i have okay the customer id and uh, the respective outstanding amounts second one is the customer id and the payments i want to reconcile uh, both the list okay what happens here is you can see here customer one is there but the customer two is not there in the first list okay so customer 2 is not there in the first list and uh, similarly customer 10 8 and 10 is not there in the second list so the the both the list are partial they are not having the full list of customers some records here and uh, some of them some customer ids are in the first list some of them missing in the second list similarly some of them in the second list that are missing in the first list okay and also you can see that uh, a customer is repeated twice the record also duplicated twice uh, okay so the same customer having multiple outstanding also okay probably we will put uh, same uh, customer having multiple uh, payments also okay so we will include uh, this scenarios also okay so what happens here probably six eight or uh, 100 okay so what what uh, this scenario is what we are going to do is that we are going to use the sum if function okay so it can be used uh, sum if in array function also but uh, for uh, time being i'm using sum if function okay before that what we are going to do the customer id is we uh, define the names okay it will be easier for us to use it in the formula okay first i'll define the name for the customer id for the outstanding customer ids okay so right click select the column right click define name this is customer id outstanding okay Cust outstanding customer probably outstanding Out outstanding customers then outstanding amount uh, this one okay define outstanding amount okay similarly this is payments customer and uh, the payment amounts uh, okay now what we are going to do is we are going to use the sum if function to reconcile both the list uh, but uh, before that what we need to have is here is the most list of customers but unfortunately both the list are partial okay this is also some customer is missing this is also customer is missing so i must take a master list how can i do the master list copy and paste the customer ids from the first list then again i copy the second uh, customer ids from the second list now what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the unique values okay for that i will go to data then remove duplicates okay once i selected it will select that column column g but uh, what i'm having is the data header i have a data header customer in the first column first row so i click this one so customer comes my column is customer i want to remove the duplicates press ok it uh, 12 duplicate values found and removed 14 unique values uh, remain okay so i got the full list of customers okay master list of customers now i want to sort it okay because uh, some of the values are coming in down so i want to sort it data sort i have the header customer okay so sort the customer okay a to z okay now everything is fine i got the master list so okay this is my list okay now what i want is the outstanding
and payments so i want the outstanding and payments for the master list how can i get it i am going to use the sum if function okay so sum if sum if okay the range is the so sum if function have it will sum okay according to if the uh, if condition is satisfied okay so the if condition is having uh, left hand side and right hand side okay so what is the condition where do you look for the condition that is the range what do you look for the condition is the cri criteria in other words this is the left hand side of the condition this is the right hand side of the condition so you remember what is where is range and uh, what is criteria okay where do you want to look for okay i want to look for this value customer one okay where do you want to look for for outstanding i want to look for in the this list right which is nothing but uh, outstanding customer we already defined the name but if you put a comma it will automatically return the name okay so instead you put the name outstanding customer okay this is the list okay automatically it will select also okay now what is the criteria i want to look for the this value which is in g2 okay now what do you want to submit up i want to submit up the outstanding amount i want to submit up the outstanding amount which is here you can see the name is already defined once you put o it will st show you all the functions in o as well as the name defined by us okay which is outstanding amount okay so close the bracket enter now you can see 709 which is the first list amount okay the outstanding amount okay similarly i can move on to drag for the second list which is c2 which is not up here so it is zero you see so similarly for third one it added this two so the repeated values will be added because it's summing up and finding c0 uh, c0003 and if both the records satisfy that two condition so it is adding similarly for all the records okay you got the first list okay similarly we are going to do it for the payments sum if what is our range where do you want to look for i want to look it for in the second list which is payment customer okay what do you want to look for i want to look for this individual value okay each value i am going to write a formula so the first value okay what do you want to submit up i want to submit up payments now okay close the bracket i enter five to seven you can see this one five to seven second one is the four six one and so on okay you can see the 13 is added together 362 plus 100 462 okay and uh, c 008 is 0 and uh, 10 is 0 and 14 is 0 because the records are missing okay so now you can able to see in the same uh, table both the list together to reconcile or what are all the outstanding there what are all the payments okay is there any records outstanding for a particular customer and but the payment is there similarly any records of uh, outstanding is there but uh, no payments okay so this way you can able to uh, find out or reconcile both two lists together okay uh, in using the sum if function you can also write this function as a array function but i don't want to confuse now to make it a array function if you want this video is helpful to you to uh, reconcile two different list uh, if the list having some missing 
missing values as well as uh, values repeated twice okay i hope uh, this video is helpful to you and if you like my video please subscribe to my channel the alan sum button is already there in the uh, the screen itself and also leave your comments and suggestions and god bless you